In the spotlight tonight, Mitt Romney's new abortion problem, and this one could be worse for abortion opponents than he was for it before he was against it. David Korn's investigative reporting on Mother Jones shows that Mitt Romney signed a $75 million investment in a company called Stericycle, which disposes of medical waste, including fetuses from abortions. That would make Mitt Romney an abortion profiteer in the eyes of abortion opponents. Romney successfully evaded questions about this during the Republican presidential primary campaign because he claimed to have retired from Bain Capital before Bain made the $75 million investment in Stericycle. But nine months after Romney supposedly retired from Bain Capital, he was listed as both an active participant in the investment in Stericycle and held, quote, share voting and dispositive power over the investment. Joining me now, the man who wrote today's investigative piece for Mother Jones, David Korn. He's also an MSNBC political analyst and also Karen Finney, former DNC communications director and MSNBC political analyst. David, uh, Romney was able to get around this during the campaign just because of these dates about exactly when he left Bain and mm -hmm. uh, the Republicans, uh, the, his Republican opponents didn't look much beyond that. Well, yeah, that's one of the big questions. There, there are two key parts to this article, and thank you for promoting it as you have. One is just the investment itself. He was part of a partnership, $75 million in this company. Years later, after they'd sold and made about $49 million off their investment, Romney and his partners, abortion uh, foes targeted it for the company's role in, dis in the disposal of aborted fetuses. So at the time, it wasn't a big issue. But, you know, one can wonder what, what he was looking for in terms of investments. But the other issue here is, as you noted in your introduction, he was listed as being an active participant in this deal and being in charge of several Bain funds or properties or entities months after his campaign says he left Bain and had nothing to do with, with Bain internal business. This is important because again and again and again, stories come up about Bain deals, such as the, uh, the Washington Post piece about outsourcing just a few days ago, and the campaign or Bain's responses that Romney had left the company by that point in time, thereby trying to absolve him of, 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 of involvement in these sort of deals that would look bad for a political candidate. But in this deal, and in other deals too, it turns out, there are SEC records and other indications that he was more active than he has claimed to be. So there's a whole little wishy-washy mystery here to what Romney was doing at Bain after he supposedly left. And Karen Finney, uh, no matter when Romney left Bain, the question of when he derived income from some of these schemes uh, could span many, many, many years, which is one right. of the reasons why you'd love to take a detailed look at Romney tax returns that mm. would show us exactly yeah. where he got his income over the relevant years and how much of his income was from Stericycle. Well, that's exactly right. And as David points out in his reporting, in addition to those questions, there are new questions that seem to be raised in the responses that the Rom from the Romney campaign to, the, to David's piece that raise questions about how, what did he know and when did he know it, which are always the classic questions that get people in trouble. And again, you know, this plays into a couple of narratives that are deadly for Mitt Romney. Number one, that he will say or do anything to get elected. Number two, what is he hiding? in the tax records and why won't he come clean and be honest and forthcoming and num but number three in the context of this campaign Lawrence as we've talked about in your show we got to you know reporters who are covering R Mitt Romney have got to press these questions these are very important questions as David pointed out both around Stericycle specifically and around Mitt Romney's uh, relationship to the to Bain and to a number of deals after the period of which he is claiming that he no longer had an association with the company. I want to read you, a posting on an anti-abortion website about just how much they hate this company, Stericycle. Uh, they say Steris, Stericycle and other corporations like it must be stopped from furthering the abortion holocaust in our nation and around the world. The campaign to stop Stericycle is committed to aggressively pursuing Stericycle along with its officers, service providers, 
and investors, that would be Mitt Romney, until they end their collaboration with the abortion industry. Join us in the fight against this Goliath. Uh, David, I can't, I've lost track of when Mitt Romney was in favor of abortion and when he became <laughs> against it. When he invested in Stericycle, had he become an abortion opponent yet? Uh, uh, not yet, at least not publicly, as far as as far as I'm aware of. But there, there are two key points here. One is he invested in what he invested in, not to create jobs, not right. to promote family values, but to make money for himself and his fellow investors. And that's a point that the president has been very good at making again and again and again. He wasn't in it to to further to further public or communal interests. He was in it for the, for the money. And you know, the second thing is Mitt Romney signed the papers for this deal. I have another deal that happened two years later. He's listed in SEC records as part of the management committee for Bain. Now, Bain right. says he was just merely a signatory because it was very hard to separate him from the ownership in a private equity firm because, you know what, it's complicated. But that aside, we see indications again and again that he had deeper involvement or that he had some involvement, at least not no involvement, in what Bain was doing after, after February 1999 when he says he left and retired to go work on the Olympics. So these are issues that are going to have to be resolved. They can be resolved by looking at the tax returns in part and by going to some of these other deals. And it just is, you know, again, it's very fishy. Go ahead, Karen, but, quickly. Well, I was just going to say, as David points out, though, I think what's important is not just the tax returns, but the nature of his awareness of what these companies were doing and what those interactions were in addition to the tax implications. Karen Finney, he was making uh, tens of millions of dollars off this. Did he know what was happening? David, we've got to break it there. David, uh, before you go to bed tonight, could you find out how much Stericycle is making from Romney Care in Massachusetts? <laughs> oh. Surely they have contracts uh, in Massachusetts that are basically funded by Romney Care. Uh, stay up a little later tonight, David. Thank you both <laughs> okay, very much Lawrence. for joining Thanks. me tonight. Thank you. Mark.